Hello and welcome, I'm Sean Fox, this is Made to Ramble, and believe it or not, this was filmed with an action cam. Look at that blurry background. How did I do it? Well, it's all thanks to a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 17. Come and I'll show you how. All right, so the feature that I'm talking about here is Magic Mask. It's a feature introduced into the latest version of DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve 17 that is, which is currently in beta. For those of you who haven't upgraded, I have found the beta to be remarkably stable, but your mileage may vary. You can use this effect for a variety of different purposes, not just blurring backgrounds. I'll show you what I mean as I'm going here. I guess the way that I'm using this effect here is similar to say portrait mode on a lot of mobile phones. There's a lot of the same drawbacks too. Um, I've had to be pretty deliberate in how I've edited that intro so that I could draw attention away from any obvious issues. The tracking isn't perfect yet, but it's a whole lot better than what was possible with previous versions. Um, I do suspect that once mobile phones are capable of doing this kind of portrait mode in video, I am aware that a few have tried and failed from what I've seen. I, I suspect that a lot of people might switch away from bulky cameras exclusively to mobile phones. But in the meantime, you can try this out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not super fast or convenient for that matter, but if you're tired of carrying around a bulky camera and must have that blurry, blurry background, then this might just be worth the effort. Probably not though. Anyway, let's get started loading up DaVinci Resolve 17 here. Alright, so I'm starting up a whole new timeline here, just so that we're starting from scratch. This file from the Insta360 1R 1 inch mod was actually in 5.3 or something like that, but uh, in this case I've exported it from the 360 Studio app. Uh, just to a 1080p file. The lower the res, the quicker it should be to do the tracking and to apply the effect. I'm also doing all of this on a 1080p timeline anyway, so there's not a lot of reason to work with the full res video. I'll put that onto my timeline and I'll uh, jump into the magic mask feature here on the color tab. Uh, selecting person. Oops, better add a new node first. So you can select the whole person here or just a feature, you know, hair, face, clothing, that sort of thing. I'm selecting the whole person here and I do so by applying the dropper onto my skin and onto my clothing just so I can get as good a selection as possible. We'll zoom right in on that to see how the mask looks. Yeah, not quite nailed everything, but I can refine my selection here by playing with these refine tools, feathering, that sort of thing. Now, choosing better quality does definitely help getting a better selection, but it really slows things down quite a bit. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this mask now, and yeah, it looks all right. And so, on to the tracking. Alright, so the tracking is done there. Now it's actually the background we want to change here. So what I'll do is I'll add an outside node. From here we can just add some Gaussian, Gaussian blur. 
Keep it nice and subtle. So yeah, this is how it looks. I did say before it's not just blur that this could be used for. We could say change the exposure and maybe brighten me up while darkening the room behind me. There are plenty of possible applications for the magic mask. Just have a play around with it yourself and see what you can come up with. Anyway, I hope this has been useful for some of you. It's a pretty awesome feature and uh, I just figured it might be worth sharing. There are some really cool features in this new version of DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, that's about all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, blah, blah, blah. You know how desperate I am for the approval of complete strangers. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.